A catastrophic celestial body colliding with Earth isn't just the stuff of Hollywood films. NASA predicts that on March 16, 2880, an asteroid called 1950 DA will get very close to us, with the potential to destroy all life on Earth. The asteroid is about 1.4 kilometers tall, the equivalent of three Eiffel Towers. There's a 0.3% chance it will hit Earth, and if it does hit, it will likely be in the ocean, which would cause massive tsunamis worldwide. Asteroids, comets, and meteoroids with orbits near ours are classified as near-Earth objects, or NEOs. These are the rocky leftovers of huge collisions that took place when our solar system formed 4 billion years ago. NEOs could be as small as a grain of sand, or as big as 1,000 kilometers in diameter, about one quarter the size of our moon. They speed along on average at 25 kilometers a second, that's like flying from New York to London in less than four minutes. Comets are bodies of ice and rock formed beyond the outermost planets that have fallen into an orbit around our sun. One of them, Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9, broke up and smashed into Jupiter in 1994. Before impact, Shoemaker broke into fragments. One of them hit with an energy equivalent to six million megatons of TNT about 600 times the entire arsenal of the world. The fireball that followed rose about 3,000 kilometers above the Jovian clouds, roughly the distance between Chicago and Los Angeles. Asteroids have hit Earth before. In 1908, one fell over Siberia. The power of its explosion was about 10 megatons, as powerful as the world's biggest nuclear weapon. It flattened 2,500 square kilometers of land. That's the size of Paris. Many scientists believe an asteroid explosion killed the dinosaurs. And some think an asteroid may have ushered in the Dark Ages. The good news is that modern technology could nudge the orbit of a NEO off course. NASA theorizes that an unmanned spacecraft could hover over an asteroid, pulling it into its gravity, and thereby moving it into a safer orbit. Another deflection strategy, explode a nuclear device nearby, thrusting it off course. This is called an X-ray slap. Clearly, NASA takes the problem seriously, but there's no great panic yet. After all, 1950 DA is still 800 years away. That's a lot of time to fix the problem, and plenty of time for another Hollywood disaster flick.